Hi guys, in this video I want to share with you some information on vitamin B6, okay? Now, vitamin B6 is kind of like a co-enzyme. It's a helper vitamin involved in so many different body chemical reactions. It's kind of like the, the catalyst, the thing that allows everything to work. It's like the glue that connects things together. Um, but you have the inactive version, okay, and then the active version, which is called pyridoxal 5-phosphate. It's PLP, okay? And um, if you're going to take a supplement, I think I would recommend this active form because it's stronger and it's, uh, it's pretty effective for a lot of different things. So let's just kind of go through uh, the symptoms that you would have uh, if you were going to take this. One is carpal tunnel syndrome, okay? Also fluid retention, okay? Pins and needles, sleep problems, neuropathy, that's nerve damage, trigger finger, fatigue, dermatitis, um, cracks in the corners of your mouth right here, sleepiness to the point where you need so much sleep and you can't seem to recover. Okay, I mean you can't seem to wake up basically. You're just like sleeping and you're just not waking up. Okay, you might have a child like that that just won't get out of bed. Give them some B6. Okay, heart attacks. Uh, mainly due because a B6 deficiency will increase uh, something called homocysteine which I'm going to put a link down there below but it's an it's a risk factor for heart attacks and heart problems, okay? All right, so the function is a catalyst for over 100 enzymes, mainly in protein reactions. It helps you make the blood, makes GABA, which is a neurotransmitter that helps with uh, your mood and relaxation and stress and pleasure. It makes, helps you bring your mood up. Uh, glycogen breakdown, it breaks down sugar, so it's involved in blood sugars. Uh, it's involved in metabolism in general and also in the making of neurotransmitters. And that would be like serotonin and everything. It's, those are all protein-based. Um, what would cause a deficiency, which is interesting because this is on a lot of foods. It's very easy to get this vitamin, but it's really not that you're not getting it from your diet. It's that either maybe you're drinking you know, alcohol that could be depleting it, uh, or you're a diabetic, or have blood sugar problems because insulin can lower that as well. Uh, insulin resistance liver damage or dysfunction, gallbladder problems, uh, ear, uh, bowel issues, leaky gut, uh, any type of IBS, any type of bowel problem. Uh, let's say you had gastric bypass, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, birth control pills, antibiotics, or steroids, which is adrenal hormones, uh, like cortisone or prednisone. That will deplete this, and you may find that you know, you start developing these symptoms and all you have to do is take some of this and you'll start feeling better immediately, okay? So I just wanted to mention it and thanks for watching. So press the subscribe button and this is misspelled, so I can't spell. So I'm gonna have to add that in here. Okay, take two. Press the subscribe button and I, I can't even say this. Um, hey, if you're enjoying my videos, Press the subscribe button below and I will keep you updated on the future events. Thank you so much.